Thursday, June 27th, 2024, and what is wrong with the view? <laughs> Again, this is what the fourth day in the week that they've talked about debate prep. Like, don't they get tired of saying the same thing over and over again? It was very little that was new that was discussed. Um, you know, it, again, this is sort of where Amy Lisa Farrah Griffin, you know, um, earns her keep because she is right about this. She has intimate knowledge about um, what it's like working with him. And uh, so, it, you know, kudos. She's getting, uh, you know, <laughs> she's less and more annoying moments um, when talking about this. But why do we have to talk about it every fucking day? Um, and it sort of blurred the lines of the second, um, hot topic, which was about undecided voters, um, which I think, um, in an odd moment, Sarah Haynes was kind of correct that it's really about, um, unhappy voters, people that don't really know what to do. Um, and I, I agree with Amy Lisa Farfarla Griffin. It's, there's a lot of Republicans that are like, I don't want to vote for Trump, but and I don't know that it's really that they disagree with Biden on policy. It's that they've been so brainwashed about not voting for a Democrat. Um, but hopefully maybe this can get them out of that fever dream. Um, I don't really know what um, it takes to change someone's mind and make them understand the, 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 the like monumental danger that um, Donald Trump is. And it's, I feel like if you don't see it by now, how, what is going to change your mind? Um, I loved that clip of um, uh, Comic the Insult Dog um, talking to these undecided voters. Did you see them? Um, real thinkers. Uh, and you know, oh, you want more information about them? Like, how much more do you need to know? It was like, you know, like Amy Lisa Favre, like Griffin earlier, and she's like, I want to see Biden do that. I want to see Biden. I want to, like, what the fuck do you need, lady? Um, if you don't think Trump should be allowed back in the White House again, vote for goddamn Joe Biden. That's not that difficult. Um, you know, you're just putting in a circle at a, at a different spot on the ballot or pulling a different lever or, you know, however your state does it. Um, so this is, uh, 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 <laughs> I look forward to this topic being over. Um, tomorrow they can talk about uh, what actually happened in the debate. I did see uh, that CNN um, sort of clip about, this is what it's going to be like. So I hope they have those split screens so that it can show that Trump won't shut up because somebody's going to have to tell him to shut up. Um, and it is a little disappointing. I, I understand what they're saying about not having real-time fact-checking, but, uh, but there should be... Um, and I, I, I think it's splitting hairs about what fact checking is. Um, he can't get away with just blatantly lying. Um, but you know, if he wants to talk about, you know, you know, why Biden's policy, blah blah blah, is terrible, then that's a debate topic. That it is Biden's response to say, no, actually, <laughs> we have the lowest unemployment rate. You had the highest. Um, you know, those kinds of things. That's part of what those um, debates are for. You're not supposed to lie. You're supposed to frame yourself well. Um, but Donald Trump doesn't know what to do other than lie. So um, I do look forward to watching it later. I will have to watch it later tonight because um, I'm busy. <laughs> oh, and then um, the... Uh, LGBTQ plus documentary, what is it called? Stand Out, and I don't remember, I think it's on Netflix, um, really is uh, a wonderful documentary. I remember all of that, um, most of it. It starts a little earlier than um, than it was. Yeah, I was conscious of um, any of those comedians. Um, and it did, it, you know, it, it taught me a few things which I thought was interesting because it was like I kind of like Sarah like this is all my lifetime I remember all of this I remember watching it as a queer kid being like you know you look for those signals and those winks and that you know what um you know the little crumbs that you can try to pick up and piece together um and uh there's stuff that I um 
I clearly didn't know. Um, but it's really, it's wonderful. It's a, it's, it's not told, it's a little haphazardly told. Um, it kind of sort of not, it's not real linear. Um, so there's, it, it kind of like goes in a direction and then pulls back and then goes in a direction and pulls back. And it's, it's, it's kind of odd in, in that way that it's edited, but, um, uh, it's well worth it. I highly recommend. Um, and there's one thing about yesterday that I forgot to mention, um, uh, which I thought was kind of hilarious. They were having the conversation about, do you ask someone if they're on Ozempic or one of those weight loss drugs? Um, are you obligated to tell people? Um, and I think it was Sarah who said, if you're in the public eye, it's misleading if you, you know, if you're saying, oh, you're doing this in some other way, like, you know, eating well and, um, nobody seemed to bring up, and Joy was the only one who was there at the time, that that actually happened on that panel when Star Jones lost a bunch of weight because she had um, a bariatric surgery. And she said, you know, it was diet and exercise, blah, 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 completely lied about it. Um, oh, it right? It, it's the band. No. Anyway, um, and then got caught in a lie, uh, which was a huge embarrassment for her and the show and because they let her lie on the show um because i think they knew and they didn't correct her which i think is kind of shitty um like just don't don't talk about it if you're gonna lie then just don't say anything um but anyway i thought that was interesting and i, I was i was kind of surprised that um joy didn't bring it up but maybe she didn't remember whoopi usually does that uh you know brings it back home to oh yeah we had one of those uh, where we planted some fake stories to see if they'd get planted in the news. And I, we know that was talking about Megan. <laughs> uh, Thursday.